Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Coffee with Chris. A number of years ago, I was going DTS, that's New Jersey for down the shore. I was driving in my car, it was late at night, and I have this habit of not taking away old coffee cups that are in my car. Stopped at a rest area, grabbed a hot fresh cup of coffee, family's in the car, put it in the cup holder next to one that had been there for about two or three weeks. Get about 20 minutes into the ride, I'm not paying attention. Got a book on tape, grab the wrong cup and take a big swift of disgusting two week old coffee. Threw the cup out the window, sorry I littered and began spitting the coffee and trying to rinse this horrible taste out of my mouth. Well, there's a verse in Proverbs that deals with this same idea. It doesn't really deal with drinking a bad cup of coffee that's been around for two weeks, but it deals with the idea of contamination. And it says here in Proverbs chapter 25, verses four and five, it says, take away the dross from the silver and the smith has material for a vessel. Take away the wicked from the presence of a king and his throne will be established in righteousness. And what it's saying there is you don't wanna make a vessel out of a, out of a, out of a container or out of metal that's going to contaminate the taste of what goes in it. You don't wanna make a uh, coffee mug out of lead. We all know what the, what, what the effect lead has on, on the human body. You wanna get the dross out of it so the vessel is pure, it's clean. So when you drink out of it, all you're getting is what you're putting into it. And what's also saying there is a king needs to have people around him who are not contaminated, not full of anger, not full of envy, not full of whatever it is that could damage his judgment or maybe even his character. And what we need to understand as humans, especially in the day and age we live with social media, we need to be aware, this is a, this is a statistical fact, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Be careful because we don't understand the effects that people have on us. And very often if we keep just putting ourselves in situations where we're getting contaminated or we're around situations that turn us into a way that isn't in a godly way, we can kind of be like that frog in that pot where we just kind of get boiled. So I wanna encourage you today to be very, very wise. Realize you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Make sure that one of those people is God. Make sure the rest of those people are people that are in the kingdom. And then you can go out in ministry and be persuasive for the kingdom of God. So don't spend your time being contaminated. Look to God for the pure stream that comes from his word and his being. God bless you. Have a great day.